A poll of students showed that 55% like basketball, 40% like soccer, 55% like football, 25% like both basketball and soccer, 20% like both soccer and football, 20% like both basketball and football, and 10% liked all three sports. What percent of students liked only one sport? What percent of students liked none of the three sports? So for me, this is a Venn diagram problem. I'm going to draw a three-set Venn diagram to solve this problem. And the video follows. So what I have here is the same question on top with all the important facts available. These are the important facts. And these are the questions we're going to be answering. So let's try to understand what the Venn diagram really means. So when you have three different sets, a set representing the people who like basketball, a set representing the people who like soccer, a set representing the people who like football. These three sets can overlap in the way the picture is depicting or showing. Here, these people like all three of the sports. These people like basketball and soccer but not football. These people like soccer and football but not basketball. These people like basketball and football but not soccer. These people like only basketball. These people like only soccer. These people like only football. And these people like none of the three sports. Now before we proceed, you really want to understand what, what each region of the Venn diagram really represents. You absolutely have to understand that. Otherwise, the solution will not make any sense. Generally, it's a good idea to label the center first if, if that fact is available. By the way, everything is given in percent, so we can assume we're talking about 100% of the students. So the entire universe should be 100. What do I mean by that? This part plus this part, this, 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 and this. If you add all these eight parts, eight regions, each part will have a number in it. If you add all these parts, you should get 100. That's another important fact you want to be familiar with. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put 10 here. Why? Because 10% liked all three sports. Right here. Now, we're going to put numbers here, here, and here. And we're going to do it very carefully. This one, let's use red. 20 liked both basketball and football. This region, this, I'm going to call this football because that's what it's shaped like. This region together should be 20. And you really want to get that because 20 like basketball and football some of these 20 people may have liked soccer it does not say 20 liked only basketball and football so I'm gonna put a 10 here again you wanna pause the video and absolutely make sure what is being said it's very much consistent with this so let's go ahead and do this one 20 liked soccer and football 20% like soccer and football. This football should represent 20. In other words, the two numbers inside the football should add up to 20, and the only way it would happen if this is 10. Okay. Now here, the next one, let's make it blue, 25 like basketball and soccer. This football should add up to 25. Why? Because 25% of the people like 
basketball and soccer some of them may have liked football we don't know that and out of those 25 percent this piece rep uh, are the people represents the people who like football so this has to be 15 now let's use pink 55 percent like football it doesn't say 55 percent liked only football it says 55 percent like football so that means these four regions inside the football circle should add up to 55 I'm going to repeat it once again. The four regions inside the football circle should add up to 55. The only way it could happen if this is 25. I'll stick to pink. 40% liked soccer. It doesn't say 40% liked only soccer. If it did, 40 would go here. And don't make that mistake. It says 40% liked soccer. So these four pieces inside the soccer circle should add up to 40 and what I have here is 10 10 and 15 which is 35 so this has to be 5 55 percent like basketball these four regions inside the basketball circle should add up to 55 and I have 35 here 10 plus 10 plus 15 is 35 plus 20 is 55 now don't don't count these anymore because we have accounted for them they're we're done with them they hardly exist they have been accounted for okay these numbers let's cross them out okay so I have addressed in a three set Venn diagram there are eight distinct regions or distinct or disjoint regions one two three four five six seven eight I've accounted for seven of those eight regions and one is left the the number that goes here is is left out how do we find that if I add all the numbers I've accounted for 20 plus 15 is 35 plus 5 is 40 50 60 70 80 90 95 if you add all these numbers let's write it here 20 plus 15 plus 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 25 what do we get 20 plus 15 is 35 40 70 95 so I get 95 here so I have addressed 95 percent of the students who were surveyed or polled from 100 subtract 95 and you're gonna get 5 5 goes here okay so 5% of the people didn't like any of the three sports so the answer to part B is 5 I'm gonna do that first because it's easier now what percent of the students liked only one sport these are the numbers in pink 20 plus 5 plus 25 is 50 so 50 percent of the people liked only one sport these are my answers 50 is the answer to part A 5 is the answer to part B